Hey, I'm Peter Rubin. And I'm Kelly Rubin. And this is Crosby. And this is Split Screen. Because we know there's always two sides to every story. And every movie. And every game. And every TV show. TV shows like Silicon Valley. Yes. Which, which came back for season two on Sunday. It did. And I still can't believe that I actually watched this show. Why? Because it is just not my demographic. Like if you drew a Venn diagram, there's them and there's me and there's very little overlap going on there. Which is, uh, you know, that's a criticism that's often leveled at the real Silicon Valley. And and I think Mike Judge heard some of some of those criticisms uh, about season two, because when we come back, we have the, the gang from Pied Piper kind yep. of on the cusp of getting funded. Right. But also, there are, there are all of a sudden, there are women everywhere. Oh my gosh, in the first 10 minutes, there are more women than in the entire first season. In the first two minutes, even before the credits, right. it's crazy. Right, by the end, they're gone, and it's back to like yes. Silicon Valley as usual. But. Well, I think that's part of kind of what Mike Judge did. He had this kind of, did two different strategies. On one hand, he was like, here's some women, uh, for sure, I heard that criticism, and I'll and I'll cast the role that was, you know, vacated by the uh, actor Peter Gregory who died Which during I think the off was a season. Smart move. I really like this new woman. Yeah, Suzanne Cryer from from Two Guys and a Girl, I think, is the last place we saw her. But she's kind of perfect. She has that kind of quasi Aspergery VC. Yeah, she doesn't make person. eye contact. It's very weird. Super stilted and but strange. I like that. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, he doubled down on the bro stuff. Ehrlich, the, the kind of head of their house, put his literal balls on a on a VC conference table. Yeah, like, it's like a literal double down. A literal <laughs> double down. It's like a quadruple, double double. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but like he was like, I'll give you this and I'll also give you that. I refuse to not be Mike Judge. Yes. Right? Yes, and I really like that because I think that's most of the reason that I watch. I'm like, oh, Mike Judge, he knows satire. But at the same time, I still can't tell what part's satire and what part's real, because it feels very real to me, because I see this world from the outside. And it's kind of like this anthropological study of, oh, this is what these guys do behind closed doors. Yeah. This is how all this money is made. This is what goes on. And I do think that one of the things that makes it, that, that's nice about it is, it kind of translates to those weird things that are inside the tech bubble, like these astronomical valuations that have little to do with the, with the company's kind of utility in the real world. Right. Or compression algorithms. That's what I'm saying, like, how useful is this compression algorithm? I don't don't know, but yet I'm there. But I'm like, you, yay. But you know what to equate it to metaphorically oh, now. Oh, yes, I do. Th thanks for that dick joke from last yeah, year. It's a series of tubes. Yeah, just like the internet. Yeah. There's plenty <laughs> more on the internet which we'll be talking about in coming weeks. I guess, how's that for a segue? Uh, but we'll see you, I there guess. There are going to be people out on segways and razor scooters <laughs> oh, when we leave. A real segue. There will right. be segways outside. And Google buses. Just, and, Google, and, and guys in Zynga sweatshirts. Definitely. And we'll see them now, but we'll see all of you next week. Bye. On the next split screen. Oh, yeah. Bye.